Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 63, Hosea. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God, and, and to, to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against him to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent, he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky in all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, Lord, as you as favor, you favor your, people. your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as, as you favor your, your people. people. They forgot the God who had saved them who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, Lord, as you favor your people. people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember, Remember us, O Lord, people. as you favor Save your people. Your people. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that I gave us his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worth it and feeling you proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Be reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. 
the works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last time, May and June, I spent a lot of time preaching through the Old Testament summarizing each book very quickly and briefly, uh, trying to get the meat of the, uh, the book. And it's the first time I read the Bible very continuously, the Old Testament, uh, all at one time. I've read it many times, different parts, and really focused on each book or whatever, but never where I had the whole sequence. And the thing that really struck me is over and over and over and over again, the sin is always the same. God promises, and he fulfills his promises in ways that people couldn't imagine. But the people are constantly, even though they reaffirm their commitment to the Lord, soon after they are turning away from him. We see that in today's gospel, or first reading. Um, Moses uh, has made an agreement with the people and told them uh, what God commands us to do. And the people says, uh, we will do whatever the Lord asks us. Then Moses goes up in the mountains and prays for 40 days. And what do they do? They turn to worshiping idols. Uh, and it's just a pattern you see over and over. But as I was doing that last summer, I also realized that's the pattern in my life too. I always make commitments to the Lord. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and so on. But so quickly I fall short and uh, stray off the path. And that's where reconciliation is so wonderful for all, for all of us, so that when we slip off the path, we can come back and renew our commitment to the Lord. And hopefully little by little by little and a little, and I think I'm making some progress, we can draw closer to the Lord and turn away from him less frequently. And realizing that the joys of the world, whatever they are, really aren't that important. And then in the gospel, that same attitude kind of comes through that, you know, we accept the praise of others. We seek the praise of others. We like the praise. We like the fact that others are pleased with us. But that really doesn't matter. Jesus says, I don't trust your testimony because it's not reliable. Uh, what we should be focusing on is what we do is it pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. And ultimately, we hope the only praise that will come to us will come from him uh, with the reward of eternal life. So we always need to focus on It's nice to have people like us and praise us for what we do. But really, uh, that praise really doesn't mean, doesn't, isn't necessary and really isn't reliable, but praise that comes from God is what matters. And so we should always uh, make sure we try to do what is pleasing to God's sight rather than maybe um, wanting only to please others and those around us. So we ask the Lord Jesus to help us uh, focus our attention where it needs to be and strive every day to whatever we do, make sure that it is pleasing in the sight of God and if it is one day, he will reward us. With that in mind, let us pray. 
O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us always to listen to your Son, Jesus, and prompted by the Holy Spirit to follow his teachings. Grant us this and the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, and for all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in our love of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the innocent victims of war, especially in Gaza and Israel, Russia and Ukraine, that peace may soon come to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us that we may grow in our faith and love for Jesus present in the Eucharist, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in the RCIA that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit, during these final weeks of preparation for baptism and reception into full communion with us in the Catholic faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from the practice of their faith, that they may respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit during this sacred season of Lent and come back to the Lord, seeing his pardon and forgiveness we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may share in Christ's risen glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vacations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all young couples who are preparing for the sacrament of marriage, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the sprinkle of rain this morning. You know that we need rain in abundance. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for Jerry Engelbert, who will be buried on Saturday from St. Bonds, for Mabel Picaric, who will be buried here next Monday. We pray for them and for their families. We pray to the Lord. We offer this Mass this morning for the living and deceased of the Ed and Clarice Krings family. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our fealty from every evil, and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right 
It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with every blessing and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in the presence of countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we to confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under the heavens as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You form man in your own image and entrust the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the end of all, so that those who might seek you might find you. Time and time again you offered them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time, you sent your only beloved Son to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life. And that we may live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as a first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. And therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an everlasting covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father, most holy, having loved those who were his own in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread and blessed and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, 
which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and this one chalice, that gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become living the sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. And therefore, Lord, remember now all those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, George, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those who are present, and all your people, and all who seek you, so seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the holy creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we may glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please join me in making a spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacraments. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you are already there, and I myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O saving victim, open wide the gate of heaven to us below. Our foes press on from every side. Your race supply, your strength bestow. O salutaris hostia, que celi pondis hostium, bella premunt hostilia, da robur fair auxilium. To your great name be endless praise, immortal Godhead, one in three. O oh, grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee. Uni trino que domino, sit semperna gloria, qui vitam sine termino, nobis donet in patria. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy through Christ our Lord. 
O Lord, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that freed from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join together in praying the prayer for the successful completion of our parish center. Loving Father, we come to you in adoration. May our hearts be open to your guidance on this journey. You'll be stored in your church community, the gift to be openly to praise your name. Humbly give us the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faithful prairie center for all generations. Jesus, pray for us. Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. St. Isidore, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Final hymn is number 140, Parche Domine. Parche Domine, Parche Populo Tuo, Ne in Eternum, Eras caris nobis. Spare your people, Lord. Spare your people in your loving kindness. Show us your mercy. We have sinned against you. Parche Domine, Parche Populo Tuo. Ne in aeternum, eros caris nobis. Spare your people, Lord. Spare your people in your loving kindness. Show us your mercy. We have sinned against you, Lord. Today's morning mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.